Hello, my name is Jay Johnson. And I'm Dr. Richard Hansen. And here we have it, Sam Phase 3 Easy Day. We're doing some core strength, some hip strength, and some hip mobility. And Dr. Hansen's going to explain what is important about this, this core strength. And obviously, folks, you've, you've seen people do uh, planks and whatnot, but, but Dr. Hansen, why, why is, is this so important, th this type of work that we always see in magazines and on videos? Well, the, the idea is we want good endurance of the core to be able to support what the torso and the legs are doing. The idea being if you're a little bit more efficient at dynamically stabilizing your, your center corset, you get a little bit more power and flexibility out of your extremities. And so training the core in that sport specific manner of how it's going to activate when you're running is important and how planks activate uh, your abdominal area mimics that movement a little bit closer than say something like a sit up or a crunch. Yeah, and, and folks, just as a weird aside, no bicycle crunches, right, Dr. Hansen? We are not doing that. No, no, on those, partially because of the flexion and the, the shearing force that it places on the disc. Okay, folks, you, that's what we got to remember, shearing force, no shearing force. All right, so now th this is going to target the hamstrings in, in a pretty intense way, is that correct? Yeah, and as as we've said before, this uh, someone of, of Andy's height, it might be a little bit more challenging for the taller individual. Um, I know it's difficult on me because I'm a taller person. Um, just activating the, the hamstring and that posterior chain in that, that manner can be, can be tough. All right. And folks, if, if you've done core acts, you're, you're familiar with, with a, a V set. What, what I think is really interesting here is how controlled and, you know, he's basically moving nice and slow and that that's really a, a challenging way to do it. The key here too, just make sure that your, your chest isn't coming towards your knees. You're keeping it in a nice stable plank. Okay. So here's some new exercises. So this, we're trying to focus on uh, scapular plane motion of the shoulder blade while getting some thoracic spine extension. Um, this, obviously, we're working the posterior chain of the hip. All of this is for postural endurance um, while also working some of the mobility of, of your hip and your shoulder blade. Clams are, are, are something that you've done in phase one and phase two, and, and this is something that you should be familiar with. You've also done leg extensions, and again, we're, it's the same thing. Toe out, toe in, toe neutral, just do, do five of, of each of those. And, and folks, for some of you, um, for me personally, this is the one that's, that's one of the mo mo most difficult, and that's fine. And the key here is just don't let your pelvis rock forward and back too much. Just try to keep it in a nice, stable plane while you're moving, moving that leg. You can see with him, he's moving his pelvis a little bit too far forward. Um, the idea of just keeping it nice and stable. All right, folks, some, some hip mobility. We know it's important, so the question is what do we do? And um, a classic exercise here. Yeah, so this is a good morning. So you're you're activating the, the abdominals to keep your body nice and stable, but the idea being an eccentric exercise to the hamstring. Same thing here, working glute med plus hamstring as you take your leg across your body. Don't force the movement just like gravity take you over. And, and it's realistic, folks, for a lot of you, your foot's not going to come to your hand. I mean, I mean, this is an elite athlete here. So um, j j j j just be, just keep your expectations in check when you're watching these videos and seeing somebody who is, what, 25 years old and <laughs> doing, doing these, you know, and, and who's strong. Yeah, and with all of these, you're going with where your hip motion will allow. So if you feel any tension on your lower back, if you feel any tension on the front part of your stomach, with any of these motions, you're, you're probably going a little bit too far with what the goal is. Okay, groiners, and, and that's a great example of groiners. All the movement is from his hips to his foot, um, not much upper body. Same thing here. I mean, he rotates his pelvis a little bit more than I would like. If you see me do this, I probably get half the distance lifting my knee up to the side that he does um, because the goal, again, is pure hip motion as opposed to bringing the pelvis into the equation. I, I, I do think, you know, um, this idea of getting the knee under the hip, the hand under the shoulders, those, those are good angles that you're, you're seeing here. Mm -hmm. And again, you're still contracting the abdominal area to keep your, your pelvis and your torso nice and stable. And is, is, is his rhythm on these, the speed as he, as, that he's doing, is that about right? Yeah, about two to three seconds with each motion. And here you see how his left hip kind of lifts off the ground. That's a little bit too excessive. The goal is keep your pelvis in line with the ground. Just lift the knee up to where that, that hip will allow. Okay, folks. And obviously you're seeing some new exercises here, but you need to have done phase one and phase two before you do this, phase three. Yeah, everything's a progression up to this point. You can't jump a step and expect yourself to stay healthy while, while moving along. So there's a little bit of movement at the hip there. Um, is, is that, is that to be expected with, with this exercise? Yeah. Here the foot is being used as 
part of the, the lever arm. And so you're letting gravity taking down and up. He may not have the best control to, to slow that motion down here. Like I mentioned with the standing extensions, this is trying to work thoracic spine extension, stretching the abdominal wall, incorporating the shoulder girdle and trying to open up the, uh, the, uh, diaphragm as he's lifting those hands up. Okay, folks, there you go. Phase three easy day. And now you can go on to phase three hard days. All right. Thanks guys.